Hi there, I'm Nisha from nishahomi.com. Today I'm making Kerala style chicken curry or naad and kori curry. This is an excellent side dish for roti, chapati, appam, puta, bread or just about anything. This goes well with hot steaming rice. It is made with coconut milk and some whole spices which I will be grinding it along with the masala. To make chicken curry, I am heating a pan with coconut oil. Once the oil is heated, I am adding in some whole spices. The ingredients list will be given in the description box. Just give this a light mix. Now add in sliced ginger and garlic. sliced onions now give this a nice mix allow the onions to lightly brown so it might take about three to four minutes the onions have started to brown so now let's simmer the fire add in Kashmiri chili powder coriander powder turmeric powder now give this a mix and let it roast on low flame for about a minute so that the raw flavor is diminished take care not to burn the masalas so put the flame on the lowest Once the masala is lightly roasted, add in the chopped tomatoes. Give this a nice mix. Now add in salt to taste. Mix again well. cover and cook the tomatoes on low heat it's about two to two and a half minutes now let's check on the tomatoes the tomato is cooked nicely and lightly mash it with the spoon you can also see that oil has started coming out this chicken curry has slight gravy and is made with coconut milk so now we are going to switch off the flame and allow this to cool down and then grind this to a fine paste. Okay now I have transferred the masala into a blender and I am going to add in about 1 fourth cup of thin coconut milk or randam parlor just to help this grind finely. Okay, now I have grinded the masala to a very smooth paste. Remember, we had some whole spices in there, so we need to grind this to a very smooth paste. Now, heat the same pan, add in some more coconut oil, about one tablespoon. Once the oil starts to heat, add in fresh curry leaves. Give it a stir and whole Kashmiri chili broken into three. Now give this a nice mix. Now simmer the fire and add in chicken pieces. To that add in half a teaspoon of turmeric powder and one teaspoon of Kashmiri chili powder now give this a nice mix allow the chicken to roast on this oil for about two minutes at least so 
Roasting or searing the chicken will make the chicken more juicy. I have roasted the chicken on medium flame for about 3 minutes. Now let's add in the grinded masala paste. Now I'm going to add in some thin coconut milk into the blender to help it wash the remaining masala and pour it over. So that's about half cup of thin coconut milk. Now give this a mix. Cover and cook the chicken on medium to low flame. Don't forget to check on the chicken in between. Just give it a small stir so that we can make sure that it's not sticking to the pan. Now cover the pan and let the chicken cook. Let's check on the chicken. Yeah, the chicken is cooked. Now let's add in thick coconut milk. So in goes about one cup of thick coconut milk. Give it a nice mix. You might have noticed that I have not added water while making this chicken curry. So it's important that you should not add any water but you can use anywhere between 3 4 to 1 cup of coconut milk depending on how thick or thin you want the gravy to be once it cools down the gravy might thicken a bit so I am using 1 cup of thick coconut milk this chicken curry can be served with appam chapati, rice, bread or just about anything you might have noticed that I made this chicken curry with some whole spices I have not used any garam masala in this curry now add in some more fresh curry leaves just tear it and add so that the flavor is released simmer the curry for at least one or two minutes and then you can switch off the flame and serve If you like this recipe, please give a thumbs up. Do subscribe to my channel for more video updates. Do try this recipe and let me know how this turned out. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.